In this tutorial, I will talk about AwareIM processes. This tutorial assumes that you are familiar with AwareIM business rules and that you have watched the business rules tutorial. If you haven't watched that tutorial yet, please do so before watching the processes tutorial. As you know from the business rules tutorial, business logic of your application should be implemented by business rules. What is the role of processes then? Processes provide a glue between the user and the business logic. Usually processes either trigger a change in the system that leads to execution of business rules, or they include special rules that handle interaction with the user. The best way to illustrate this is to provide an example. First, let's look at the process that triggers a change in the system. Let's say that we are again developing a banking system. In this system, we have a customer object and an account object. Let's assume that the account object has the state attribute, which can have two values, active and inactive. An account is created in an inactive state, and then the operator explicitly activates the account. Let's assume that as soon as the account has been activated, we want to send an email to the customer saying that his account has been activated. Sending an email to the customer when the account has been activated is really part of the business logic of, the, of our system. There is no interaction with the user here. It's just that the business practice is to send an email to the customer when the account is activated. This business practice or rule doesn't really care how this is done in the system. It just states that if an account has been activated, the system must send an email to the customer. So we will add a business rule that does just this. How to send an email is explained in the emails tutorial. I have created a notification that should be sent when account is activated. So our rule just needs to send it to the customer. We will now add this rule to the account object. If the state of the account has been changed, to active, we will send an email to the customer. If account state was changed to active, send account activation email to account customer. So far so good. So how will the operator activate the account? We could of course let the operator select the value of the state attribute and save the change. But because activation of the account is such an important operation, we don't want the operator to just change the value of the attribute as if it was just a change of some personal details. We want the user to select some menu operation that explicitly says activate the account. In order for us to do this, we need a process that will just trigger the change of the state and a button that will invoke this process. So let's add this process to our system. The process will be called activate account and it will work with the current instance of the account object. By that I mean that when invoking a process, a user will be looking at the form of some account instance that he previously brought up on his screen. And this means that we must declare the account object as process input. And our process will work with this instance of the account object. A process consists of rules as well. But unlike business rules associated with a business object, where rules execute in an arbitrary order, rules of a process are sequential and execute one after the other. 
The rules of our process are trivial. We will just change the state of our account. So we will add an action that changes the state of the account. No, we just need a button to invoke the process from the form of the account. To do this, we will define an operation for the form. We open the form of the account object, go to panel operations buttons, and add an operation that starts our process. Now let's see what happens in the system when the process is invoked. I log into the application in a browser and I show the list of customers that we have. I have prepared some customers beforehand. We go to the form of the customer and there is an account there, which again I have prepared beforehand. I will bring up a form of this account and as you can see, ORM has added a toolbar at the top of the form that allows us to execute operations attached to the form. So we click on the Activate button and the state of the account has been changed to active. We also hope that an email has been sent to the customer. Let's look at the rule log to verify. Looking at the rule log, we can see that our process is executed and its rule is fired. Because the rule modifies the account object, rules associated with this object get executed as well. This includes our account activated rule. The condition of this rule is evaluated and an email is sent to the customer. So our process triggers the change in the system that leads to execution of business rules. Another role of processes is to interact with the user. There are several actions in the rule language that interact with the user. These are display message, display question, enter new, edit, display, pick from, display document, display layout, display perspective and display URL. Let's say that before activating an account, we want to display a message to, to the operator, informing him that an email will be sent to the customer. To do this, we will modify our process and insert a display message rule. I choose display message and specify the message that will be displayed to the user. This action has to be the first one before the state of the account is changed. Let's see what happens now. Now when we log in, go to the customer and go to the form of some inactive account. When, it, when we click on the Activate button, we see the message that we have just introduced. And then when we click OK, the account is activated. Let's look at an example of some other actions that interact with the user. Let's say that in our system, when a customer is created and his age falls within a certain age group, we want to give the customer a present and get him to pick a present from a list of possible presents. We then want to associate the present object with the customer. In this scenario, there is a sequence of actions that interact with the user. 
First, the user has to create a customer and fill out a form with customer details. Then the system needs to check the age of the created customer and display a list of presents that the user needs to choose from. This scenario can only be implemented by a process. Let's do it. I have created the present object here with a single relationship with the custom object. So let's write our process. We'll call it create customer. It doesn't need any objects to work with because it will be creating the custom object itself. So the process input will be empty. So first rule needs to display the form to the user so that the user can fill out the form and submit it. This can be done using the enter new action. This action will display the default form of the custom object and wait for the user to submit it. The next rule will be executed only when the user submits the form. The rule needs to check the age of the user and if the age is, for example, between 30 and 40, then the system needs to display a list of existing presents for the user to choose from. So the condition of our rule will be, we will use the familiar function age So if the age of the customer is between 30 and 40, then we will need to choose from the list of presents. So we'll use pick from action. And the pick from action will display all presents available in the system and let the user choose one of the presents. And the last action of the rule just needs to associate the present that the user chose with the customer. Our process is ready. Now I just need to add a command that starts the process to the menu in our visual perspective. For details about visual perspectives, See the corresponding video tutorial. So I create a new menu item. And this menu item starts our process. Let's see now how this works. We'll log into the system and click on the New Customer button. Our process starts and we can see that it displays the form of the customer. I will create a 35-year-old customer. Because the customer is within our age group, a list of presents is displayed. I can choose one and the customer is created and our process completes. In this tutorial we have covered the basics of AwareIM processes. For more details please see the user guide and also watch the six part video tutorial that explains the main principles of building an application in AwareIM.